Quake-proofing buildings with style. A giant curtain of special cables is the latest earthquake-proofing innovation to come out of Japan, and it combines both functionality and sleek design. With Japan's location along the Pacific Ring of Fire making it prone to earthquakes, citizens are constantly finding ways to protect the country's infrastructure. One textile company has created threads made from thermoplastic carbon fiber composite, which are braided to form a strong yet flexible rod that is as strong as iron but 90% lighter. The rods have been installed outside the company's building. It is draped all around the structure, essentially tethering the roof to the ground. They are also installed inside the building to strengthen the interior walls. When the ground shifts from side to side during an earthquake, the rods stretch and pull the structure back in the opposite direction to prevent shaking. The project is a collaboration between textile company Komatsu and architectural firm Kengokuma. It will soon be used to reinforce Zenkoji Temple in Nagano, one of Japan's oldest temples. Here are other innovations that might keep you alive in a massive quake. Chinese Design Proposes Earthquake Safety Beds The 2008 Sichuan earthquake in China left more than 90,000 people either dead or missing. So of course it sparked a need to design more earthquake-proof buildings and sometimes furniture. One such design comes from Wang Wenxi, a man who designed a patent for his earthquake-proof bed design in 2010. He's been updating his designs and offers more than one type of bed for those wary of being caught sleeping and unaware during an earthquake. The bed resembles a cross between a panic room and a coffin. Some of the designs drop the sleeper directly inside the bed, which closes up like a box. There is space for owners to store food, water, and other supplies. Unfortunately, Wong's video and company don't offer any explanations for how rescue crews are supposed to locate the beds in collapsed buildings and don't show how the person inside is supposed to be able to get out. Other risks could also include caught or broken limbs if the person doesn't sleep within the outlined parameters of the bed. There's also the question of what happens if a person is caught outside of the bed, say during the daytime or perhaps just getting up to visit the toilet. It seems like a good idea at first glance, but clearly there's still a lot of details to be worked out. The price tag on these things probably isn't cheap either. So for those who can't afford earthquake-proof beds, it looks like we'll just have to stick to the traditional methods such as hiding in a bathtub, under tables, or shielding your head with something soft like a pillow, and then running for the door as soon as possible. Two Israeli inventors have come up with a design for an earthquake-proof table they hope could save thousands of lives in quake-prone developing countries. During earthquake drills, children are usually informed to hide under their desks. Potentially deadly advice if the desk is not strong enough. The earthquake-proof table consists of a steel frame with a birch wood tabletop and is designed to spread the weight of a significant down force evenly across the table while dispersing the debris to the sides. In tests, it has successfully withstood weights of up to one ton. Its inventors say the table has the potential to help up to 300 million children who live in earthquake zones where building standards are lax. The table is now awaiting approval from the world-renowned structural engineering department of Padua University in Italy. Creator of the hoverboard wants to make your house float. Greg Henderson, the co-founder and CEO of Arcs Pax, the company behind Hendo Hoverboard, has revealed that electromagnetic hoverboard technology may be the future of earthquake-proofed homes. During an earthquake, the main danger to a building structure is lateral movement. Today, most earthquake-proofing systems decouple buildings from the ground using base isolation bearings so that they can move freely without compromising the building's integrity. Arcs Pax currently holds patents for a buffer system that uses water or gas to raise homes, protecting them from destructive lateral movement. But Henderson's new system would rely on electromagnetics to produce repulsive magnetic force and lift the house. The house would be linked to the U.S. Geological Survey's Shake Alert system, allowing it to activate the electromagnet and hover for up to 90 seconds when an earthquake is detected. The Shake Alert system, which relies on a series of sensors placed near fault lines, has already proven effective in giving the residents of earthquake-prone areas a head start on incoming earthquakes. The Survival Capsule Could Save Your Life During a Natural Disaster The Survival Capsule was designed to help save lives during a tsunami. 
The 2011 tsunami off Japan's coast that killed almost 16,000 people and injured 6,000 more was inspiration to survival capsule creators Julian Sharp and Scott Hill. The two designed the capsule with the less mobile, the elderly, the infirm, and the young in mind. In emergency situations, the survival capsule could act as a safety shelter for those who have problems evacuating, especially on a last minute's notice. The capsules are spherical metal cages sheathed in aircraft-grade aluminum shells to absorb impact. The internal walls are lined with ceramic thermal blankets to protect from extreme heat. And each capsule is equipped with a 60-minute air tank in case it's submerged underwater. The capsules come in five different capacities, ranging from two to 10 people, each with varying seating designs. Tsunami waves typically flow around 25 miles per hour, but survival capsules tests have found that the capsule can withstand impacts from objects at up to 75 miles per hour. Survival capsules are currently available for pre-order.